probably 125 gallons rather than 200 so it might take an extra trip or two bleached it while it was filling so and we use the filters so it should be good and happy. pretty clean happy dogs Jason's got the water going over here now so we pump everything into that tank and then we take that tank above this tank so it just gravity feeds into here while we do something else put a little bleach in here because it's the first time for the year we're not going to drink this water we're just using it for the toilet and showers toilet and the showers and the hand sink to wash our hands um, all we did in the fall was cut this line off of the other side of the tank and then we stuck it in a gallon of antifreeze and then turned on the little pump so as long as our pump is fine and didn't get damaged over the winter which it shouldn't have because we got antifreeze in the line still and we basically gonna have to flush a lot of this out with this tank of water but it should be enough for this trip so enough to take a shower enough to take tonight. a shower and test everything out so We'll show you the bathhouse. The bathhouse is a mess right now because it's been sitting all winter and it's not rodent proof. So some critters get in there. So I got to clean the bathhouse out, of, get the junk out of there, and then we'll vacuum it. So maybe that's what I'll do while you're making breakfast. Okay. Got most of the junk that's in the way out of the way in there um, I gotta reattach the hose on the back of the tank and um, I'll clean this after we get the water flowing that way it's a lot easier to clean so Should be able to turn this, open this up now. Nothing fancy, guys. Jenny's gonna be pumped. <laughs> She's gonna be excited. 
All right, guys. Now we just need to give her a good scrub down. If we have hot water, that's a million times better. We have a couple videos. We have a video from like two years ago when we built this bathhouse. So check that out. All right, guys. We're going to do a real quick tutorial on how the bathhouse works. 275 gallon IBC tote. Um, I went and got the water with the mule and the trailer. So I only got about 125, 150 gallons, maybe. So I only got about a quarter of a tank right now. Double blinking light. That means the solar panel has charged the battery all the way up. Here's our switch for our lights. Look at that. Ooh, fancy. Here's our reserves. That's where all the TP went when everyone there was a shortage. I, I, it was me. I bought it all and put it right there. A whole 12 pack. So anyway. All right, the bathhouse is clean. We have this little pump over here in the back corner. It's a pressure regulated pump uh, behind the battery over here. Here's our switch. We take power to that. Cold water. All right, there's cold water. The shower. We leave all of our stuff, extra toilet paper and goodies in this tote because critters get in here. Toilet. Toilet's hooked up to a line. Uh, it fills up automatic, automatically. That pressure pump is gonna build up pressure and everything. Like I said, whenever anything gets turned on or flushed or the shower gets turned on, it's on, it's running. There's no bladder tank that keeps it from running. That pump itself is automatic. So anyway, water lines come in this corner to the pump and then the pump pumps it over here to a T and then it comes up to the toilet and then it, the other part of the tea comes up to the shower water heater this water heater has adjustments to adjust the water pressure and the heat um we turn it up to like medium and i normally turn the water pressure down as much as possible because that way we don't waste water um, right here we have two D batteries. These D batteries are our igniter. So we close that up. The only reason it's open because it's winterized. We have a propane tank here. Uh, we have open that up. And then when you turn your shower nozzle, which we only have one nozzle, there's no cold water. It says do not touch because that nozzle is not hooked to anything. So when we turn this on, the temperature is regulated through this, not through turning hot water and mixing it or adjusting anything in the shower. You turn the hot water on this, this side. There's our water coming out. All right. The, you can see the burner in there. That just, it's instant hot. It's a camp chef. Triton 5L. Uh, this has heat that comes out the top, so I put this heat shield here, just a piece of aluminum to reflect the heat. And it never gets hot behind there. So there's that. Steamy hot water, guys, instantly. That little Triton 5L Camp Chef heater will heat the water like 60, 70 degrees warmer than whatever the temperature of the water is. So if the water is 50 degrees, you can get up to 110, 120 degree water. That's pretty simple. Turn on the shower nozzle, there's your hot water. I picked that up, not last year, a couple years ago. Uh, somebody had it, bought it for a camper, never used it. I think it was like 60 bucks. I think you can buy them new for 150, 120, 150. So, so there you go, guys, there's the bathhouse. The uh, toilet flushes just like a regular toilet. It goes out the back into a reserve tank, um, just like an out, just like an outhouse, except for it. It's like a remote outhouse hole. Um, there's a outhouse hole over there and a tank for it, and it just takes it over there. So rather than it sitting on top of the outhouse, it just projects it uh, 20 feet over into a tank, and then all the the black water goes in there. All the gray water from the sink 
and the shower just goes out into the woods behind because it's just soapy water so it just dumps into a hole guess what time it is guys it's time to bring out my favorite thing in the world solar lights i just like the way they look so yay time to get them out all right guys i have solar lights up so i do them along the little pathway here that I made last year. So that way it's well lit if you have to go potty in the middle of the night. I feel like I need a few more. Shh, don't tell Jason. But I need some more, cause then I can do them all the way around. Plus I need some up at the cabin, right? Hopefully Jason leaves this in the video so we can have a healthy conversation about it on uh, your guys' comments. I know you ladies will agree with me, right? <laughs> so excited, guys. Bathhouse is gonna be working. I'm like, way too excited about it. And we can stay here and showers and we can sleep up in the cabin tonight. Yay, hooray. Jenny brought me my stuff to take a shower. She's gonna let me do the honorary shower. So that's the bathhouse. Jenny brought me my stuff to take a shower. Let's get all freshened up. So, all right, if you guys have questions, ask them. I'll uh, be more than happy to uh, fill you in. So, that's uh, treated us good. Is this the third year we've had the bathhouse or um, second? Two and a half, because we got it towards the end of the summer. Towards the end of the summer, yeah. two years ago. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, get out of here. I'll take a shower now. Thanks, guys. Ooh la la.